Hello everybody, um, slightly different video today, um, playing a game I haven't played in a while called DEFCON. Um, as you can see it's um, a lot different to War Thunder, it's a strategy game. Um, it's basically like a nuclear war simulator. Um, it's quite a bit, of, quite a dark, um, well not dark game, but it's like very cold and uh, you'll sort of see as I'm playing the game. Um, you're basically playing the role of... I, I assume some general in um, a bunker, just you know, at the outbreak of um, World War Three, and obviously you've got to decide where you send your nukes and how to defend your continent. Um, I'm playing the South America. I sent it to random territories, so I have got South America. You've also got Africa, um, Asia, USSR, Europe, and America. Um, just gonna place a radar. Now we're at DEFCON Five at the moment, which basically means nothing's happening, um, just everything's going as normal, peacetime, no wars on the horizon, just that sort of stuff. Um, just wondering where to put this last radar, put it down here just to cover the south. Um, DEFCON 4, basically high tension, still at peace, but um, obviously, basically just to tell you things are starting to heat up a little bit. Um, just place my air bases now. Now these house my fighters and my bombers, um, which are going to be quite important when we get to the well, when we get into the wars. Um, right, just placing a few more military bases, um, air bases. I have one to cover down here somewhere. Right, put that there. Now we've got our fleet. Um, quickly, carriers, bombers, and fighters. Um, oh, I've placed it already. I've didn't mean to place it so quick. Um, so yeah, have an eastern fleet and a western fleet. Just placing them here. Um, I'll quickly just pause the game while I do um, deployment and I'll get back to you in a minute. So I've just finished deploying all my units, just place my missile silos. Um, now they're in air defence mode at the moment, but they can at DEFCON 1's launch ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which um, wait, we'll, s well, we can't see yet, but they have a pretty big range. Um, practically the whole map. Um, can't show you yet because we can't switch to that mode. Um, base, like I said, basically a nuclear war simulator. So, um, obviously it will be nuclear war at DEFCON 1. Um, DEFCON 3 we start wars. Um, see the African fleet is here. Now, obviously in real life, Africa and South America don't have any nukes. Um, Af I think South Africa did have nukes, but only a few, and I think they were quite, um, I can't, not exactly sure, but I think they were more like, um, similar to World War II nukes, so big, heavy, hard to deploy, well, um, and I think they gave them up, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, you can also see Australia's not represented in the game, neither is Turkey and a few other countries, um, Mongolia, um, some of the, you, um, Bekistans, I believe. Um, or the Stan states. I, I, I don't know why um, Greenland's not in it. Iceland is, which is quite good for Europe. Um, so yeah, we're, you can also notice um, Asia's got Middle East for some reason. Um, Europe's got um, Europe's got Ukraine, um, which is um, quite weird because this is meant to be the USSR. Um, I don't know why they've got Ukraine. That was um, part of the USSR at the time. They've got some of the Baltic states. Um, just put that down to an oversight or something like that. Um, just waiting for DEFCON 3 to come up. Now I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Uh, now you can't actually pause this game which is um, a bit of a problem because obviously you may want to pause it but the best you can do is just set it to you know real time one second sort of thing um, which one uh, you know uh, it's not exactly ideal. Now we've just gone into DEFCON 3 so we're attacking the enemies now. Gonna send up some bombers because they've um, got naval strike, which is basically should allow them to attack enemy aircraft. I mean, enemy aircraft, enemy ships. So we're engaging the ah, engaging the African forces, African navy. Um, some of the controls on here are a bit weird at times. Um, sometimes a bit weird whether to know you're ordering a unit somewhere or doing something else. But because um, it's got left click to order it to do something like I've just done there, but right click to um 
like order to attack something. It's a bit confusing. Um, no, oh, no, just trying to. Right now, I've ordered them right. Now I did order them back to the shoreline because I'd um accidentally spawned them a little too far out into the ocean. But now we're going to attack the enemy fleet up here. I believe this will be it's another yellow one. That'll be America. So um we're going to attack America. Send our carriers up a little bit north again. A couple of bombers. Say so have the naval strike. Now I don't want to lose too many bombers because. They can also carry nukes, and obviously the aim of the game is to nuke the enemy. I believe the scoring system is um two points for every million people you kill, one lose one point for every million you lose. So obviously um going to involve a lot of death and destruction and well general nuking of the world. So we're just deploying our forces at the moment. It's just conventional warfare at the moment, so nothing to worry about at the moment. Just going to scramble a few fighters to um attack the enemy. Where's our other base? Now fighters I don't mind losing because um you, cause your like I said your silos will do air defence if they're not launching nukes. So um I don't particularly mind losing fighters, but bombers they're gonna be obviously thing you don't want to lose. Now I'm trying to select my bombers. Oh they are they're not actually my, they're not actually my bombers, here they are. Now I want them to attack the enemy. It's not selecting. Nope, that's not the right. Uh, like I said, it's a bit finicky with um the buttons. Attack him. Right, we're just gonna send our forces into the attack. Now we want to neutralise the enemy battleships and aircraft carriers. We can't see their um submarines. I don't think I've, your um aircraft carrier have to go into um anti-submarine mode to do that. And, not sure, entirely sure how it works. I think it just works like depth charging. I, I assume to rip, rip or you know helicopters which aren't represented on the map. See my silos are launching missiles, but because of the angle, not really hitting too many targets. Now, what I don't now their fighters aren't bothering me too much because they can't do any real damage, but they can overwhelm my defenses for when the bombers come along. Obviously, we want to be destroying enemy. Bombers, not enemy fighters. Now the Asian fleet is turned up, China. Okay, bombers back up in the air. Easily, no, that's the one I've launched earlier. Fighters aren't going to be able to do an awful lot of good there. And they got my missile as well. But thankfully, we've, well, we're not doing well, actually, we are doing kind of bad, I suppose. Set them all to SRBM mode. But I'll just take out that. Sign on one mass attack if I can. Gonna try and get my subs involved soon as well. They're not doing an awful lot of good from there. Uh, I've only lost two battleships, I think. I haven't lost any subs yet. So we're doing good. Doing extremely good. I'm gonna pull my carriers back though. Out of range of the enemy, I'm hoping. We could take out their carriers. Right, we're taking them out to get in the battleships as well. We could take out their combined fleets. And they probably outnumber us, but without air support. With my subs, they'll be. Well, they'll be gone in no time. I'm hoping anyway. Still got all our subs. Now, bombers are launching. Now we're turning back to base. Get them all ready for short range ballistic missile work. Well, that's going to mean they're out of action for the 
naval combat for the moment. I'll keep this one involved because he's already heading towards the area. Uh, come on, missile. Just swamp the defences we can. Uh, they're already heading away, so it'll take him a while to turn round. He's only got 120 odd seconds left. Can't really send my subs in to do this because they're in the middle of a battle at the moment. Right, now we're going to swamp the enemy. I'm hoping anyway. Now I could be focusing on their cities really, but we want to be able to, if we take out their silos, we'll be able to hopefully operate with impunity. So we're just going to focus on that silo. If we get that whole of southwest, or well, western Africa, or that, or the Horn of Africa, is it Horn of Africa? I can't, don't know its geographic location. This sort of area in the west will hopefully be you know, ready to be nuked. See how the rest of the world's going. This is strange. China and Russia and America, um, Europe don't seem to be getting nuked. Um, not sure why that is. Maybe they're all focusing on me or something. I mean, we had the Asian, American, and African and European fleets, so maybe they are focusing on us. Right, SRB, that's gone a bit funny. Gonna hit the, you know, get him to hit the radar, if we can blind him. Now, I've already launched some missiles. I'm hoping one will get through. No, again, they didn't get through. They're starting to launch them. Now my bombers are coming under fire. How long's he got left? He's only got a few seconds. Ah, oh, that'll hopefully overwhelm. Ah, they got it. Come on. Ah, so nip. Right, will this one get in? Ah, that's the one for the radar. Oh, we got it, but... Oh, player one. Who's player one? Oh, Russia's starting to get involved. That's their first nukes, I believe. So, that is quite a... That's going to change the game a little bit now Russia's involved, because obviously, with a large land mass, I think Europe's going to be non-existent now, depending on where they've launched. Because Europe is such a confined place. I mean, they can confine all their defences in one place, but if one nuke hits, it's going to be wiping out a lot of stuff, because, um, you know, it's all in one place. Again, we get some rockets in there. Operate, we're operating right at the edge of our range now. We haven't got too many bombers left. It's going to take them a while to launch and then to arm their missiles. They're probably not going to be able to take part in this attack. Although, at the same time, my subs are right at the edge of their range. So they might just about turn up at the same time if we're lucky. They have to scramble some fires to intervene. Where was... So the launch was detected over here. Is Russia trying to attack China first? I don't know. The AI is... I don't know if this is a brilliant plan or just something I've... I, I don't know if this is some brilliant plan of theirs or if they've gone completely nuts. Oh, they've started launching. And we seem to still have nukes in our carriers. We only have, like, four spare nukes, I believe. So, obviously, that could be a bit of a worry. Well, four spare nukes on the carriers. There should be like a little silo next to them. Ah, the, I think we've, yeah, the little missile indicator. So, we've still got some on some of the aircraft. Some of the aircraft carriers are empty, some aren't. Um, not sure why that is. Oh, most of them still have. Oh, it's just one that's empty. Ah. How long have they got to wait? 200 and... ah, 200 odd seconds. Oh, that's going to be not very good. 
should have waited really. Uh, hopefully we deal with their fighters as well. And start sending them up. Actually we may have timed this just right if we're not entirely sure. Right, that silo is going to be wiped out soon. Silo destroyed. I think a few more silos have been destroyed, possibly. Yep, more silos destroyed. More damage. They're yeah, just getting in range. If there's any air defence left, it's just about to be wiped out. What was already failed. Africa's just gone. It's just gone now. And the whole world's lighting up. So South America's doing okay. We haven't got many points, but we haven't really been nuked either. So I'm, do, I'm quite proud of our... Well, not proud, but like, you know, we've done quite well for ourselves. Might try risking... What do I hit? The radar or the silo? Oh, I hit the silo. Um, our subs... Yeah, subs still got nukes on them. Can't reach there. Can't reach there. That's not good. Oh, we have to go out of MRBM launch mode, I think, to launch nukes. See if we can hit these targets. Yeah. San Antonio. Uh, Memphis. Mm, yeah, sorry about that, Memphis. Um, oh god, Russia's really started opening up as well. Now, the game will actually end, um, not when everyone's dead, but when there's only a certain amount of nukes left in the world. I suspect they'll probably end up being my nukes left. I think it's set to like 20 or something. What's this 20 nukes of little victory timer starts? Then we know when the, you know, just because you can't go on forever obviously. Europe's still got their fleet left. Oh, it's kind of worrying. They're still launching their nukes so they can't fire back obviously. That's going to destroy some of their planes and their nukes in the airbase. We've just destroyed their silo, possibly. Destroyed their radar, so they're blind. Their defence is going down. They're losing more cities, so we're getting more points. Oh, victory timer has started. Now, this is a two-hour game. Um, obviously, we haven't I've been speeding it up. Um, you lot probably won't have watched all of it. So I would have probably skipped a lot of it. Now, that bright... You, you can see it's quite bright there, a lot of that is radiation, a lot of that. Um, I don't know if that's like how realistic it would be, but... There we go. Um, launching some more nukes. Gonna have to stop. Oh, our subs have fired everything over here. We've still got bombers, so I'm gonna keep launching them. I'm gonna try and use every nuke. We've got 40 minutes left to do this. Obviously it takes a while to get everything going, so we we'll have to be ready for a last all-out offensive. We haven't actually used any of our silos yet. I'm going to use our very, very far back ones. I mean, this one near Lima hasn't even been used. It hasn't even been touched. So we're just going to nuke the remnants of the USA. Hit the towns that haven't been hit yet. Make it unsafe for America. have to focus on the Russians as well, so we're going to get this one, I'm going to get these, t get all the actual South American ones, all the bottom three South American ones, all oh, launch detected, who do we hit, it's going to take a while for these nukes to get around the world of course, so definitely prioritising now, Bosco, Bosco's been wiped out basically, so has Tehran, actually there's only 0.1 million dead there. Delhi hasn't been hit. Hit these silos. Once they've launched their nukes, they'll be going back into missile defence. So I'm trying to hit them before they do that. It'll take 120 seconds to revert to missile defence. So I've got 120 seconds minimum. Trying to launch everything nice and early. Because usually I'll get to this point in the game, launch everything, and they'll just run out of time while they're in flight. Well, I'll wait till the last second, sort of, before launching. Now, there aren't many targets left to hit, so maybe I've left this a little too late. And 
Oh, there's some nukes coming in. Maybe I shouldn't have done this at all. Another SRBM. Try and hit their silos. Ah, this isn't good. Hit their subs. Hit them hard. We can stop them. Ah, oh, I think we're going to lose Mexico City. Oh, we've already been hit from Mexico City. We might take out a nuke if we're lucky. Right, we've took out one. Let's bought some time. They're still launching, but we've taken out most of their subs now. Then we can start nuking America, or what's left of it. Try and focus on China and Russia after that. Maybe Africa. I don't think Africa's got much left in it. Hong Kong. Uh, it's already been hit, but it's still got a good amount of population there. Anywhere in America? Seattle? Uh, Portland? Yep, yeah, Portland. Albuquerque? Uh, yep. Anyone left with naval combat mode? Uh, one, two, well, it was two, I believe. Oh, we're starting to get quite a few now. Now they've got to fly across the whole Pacific Ocean, so I'm getting them in. Yeah, you know, they've got plenty of time to arm their weapons. They haven't got nukes. Well, one of them hasn't. So, presumably we're starting to run out a little bit here. Calcutta hasn't been hit yet. Quite surprised India hasn't got a large population game. I don't know if when the populations are meant to be based on, but um, I would have thought it'd have more than what it has. I mean, Calcutta only has something like 4 million people there. When India has something like... I think that's like a fifth of the population of the planet. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit surprised at that. Um, Harbin. Uh, yeah, hit Harbin. Uh, have we got anyone else to launch nukes who isn't doing so? I don't believe we have. Um, got our submarines. One of our submarines. Limited range. So he's just going to wipe out any cities we haven't hit near Mexico getting us some extra points Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix has been hit um, can we hit? no not Calgary San Francisco has a decent population left think these bombers not got too many left see how I see Yep, they're still launching their missiles. Oh, everything's been hit. Oh, quite a lot of ads have just been hit. Still got missiles incoming, we've still got missiles outgoing. I think we just lost Sao Paulo. Oh, that's not good. We may have lost it earlier, but didn't realise. It's going out on one all, one all out strike now. Against the rest of the world. Just launch everything we have. We've got 32 minutes to do so. Plenty of cities up here. Haven't been hit. I mean, Africa's out of this game now, score-wise. Well, I mean, they've got nothing left. Um, well, they've got a few places left to hit, but at this point it's just seal clubbing. I mean, they've been wiped out, basically, and I'm just keep nuking them over and over. I'm trying to find somewhere that hasn't been nuked, and that's the actual problem now. This one got one nuke left. Uh, where can he use it? I... Uh, not entirely sure. This one hasn't been hit. It hasn't been hit. Who else is doing badly? No one else is doing badly. I mean, we're doing zero, so we've probably... We haven't taken out too many people. We haven't particularly lost too many, I don't think. Still defending ourselves from the enemy nukes. We're still nuking the enemy. Their defence is still up, just about. Jacksonville's gone. 
Who else has been hit? Some places over here, Beijing was it? Remnants of the Asian fleet have turned up. Oh, this one isn't on SRBM launch. Ah, we'll have to fix that. They can go back to naval combat mode as they return. Actually, you can hit this new sign up here. Probably. We can take out the um, Asian fleet. We're just scrambling anything we have at this point. I mean, we haven't got much left. But at this point, the world's starting to look like um. I think it's is it called the Duty Ghost, where South America becomes some sort, sort of superpower. Um, the rest of the world just is in ruins. It's, it's starting to look a little like that. Um, although we've also suffered quite a bit. I mean, we've, well, we've lost our Port Paolo, we've lost a bit of Mexico City. I think the rest of South America is pretty much okay. And Nukes are still doing well. Ah, is that the European fleet? Europeans aren't putting up any defence, either they've lost all their silos or they're too busy hitting everything else. The Russians are still haven't gone onto air defence mode, so that's some good news. America's not gone onto air defence mode. Also good news. Right, we've launched our uh, ICBMs in the south. We're going to have to switch our northern ones to ICBM launch now. Just to finish off the enemy. Oh, we've launched one in a weird place. Right. See if we can fix that. Yeah, done that. Finish them off if we can. Right. We're just going all out now. Finish them off. Finish off Canada. They haven't been hit, I don't think. Finish off these ones. Alright, we've got one air defence active. Hit. Where else can we hit? Oh, that one hasn't been wiped out yet. Indianapolis. Uh, Pittsburgh. We haven't hit Pittsburgh yet. Or Virginia Beach. Uh, is there any other high value targets? I haven't hit Manchester. No, Manchester's been hit. Dublin, Dublin hasn't been hit oddly enough. Um, or Glasgow, or Bristol. Well, actually, there was quite a few targets. Um, right, nothing personal. Ireland, um, or any of the other places I've nuked. Oh, bombs are starting to return. This isn't good. That isn't what I wanted to happen. I'm going to hit Mozambique. Um, Quite surprising. Or Dur Durham. Is it Durham? Durham? I didn't get a chance to read it. Or Derrick. Actually, most of Africa's east coast seems to have been left. I'm quite surprised. I thought they'd been wiped out. Um, I almost hit Madagascar, I don't think. At this point, I'm just seal clubbing it. I mean, there's nothing left to oppose us. Anyone with nukes can just wipe, you know, they can just hit them at will now. Sudan? No. Oh, we've still got one of our bombers up here. He was almost in range of Harbin. Just see the nukes crisscrossing the globe now. I mean, this would be quite a good game in multiplayer. Um, I think quite a few people do still play this, but um, I haven't really done multiplayer on this, so I'll probably, you know, I may do that another time. See if that. No, I didn't get it. I think Russia's gone back to air defence mode, which isn't good. What's I'm like, oh, let's slow it down. We've got eight minutes, seven minutes. Come on. This is 
what I was saying about not have, leaving it too long to get my nukes out. Although we've done quite well, they're already in the air, most of them have been launched. Done a lot better than I usually do. Not what the west of the world's like at the moment. Where's that going? That's going to Harbin. May reach in time. May not. Mm. Uh, they're still going across. Um, hoping we'll get our last little targets. I mean, it's just a race against the clock now. I'm just going to hit anything that's near now. They got a few. Oh, no one's hit this Harcourt. Is it Port Harcourt, I believe, in real life? Um, yeah, only a few. Right, one more bomber to launch and then we're ready. And hope our other missiles reach their targets. Shame we can't just detonate them in mid air. Right, like, probably, you know, if they're going to be not reach their target, at least make it do some damage. Oh, I've got three minutes and twenty seconds now. Are we gonna? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna defeat the enemies? We can I come third? We could beat Player Five Europe if we're extremely lucky. Got missiles in the air, but the enemy American air defense has come back online. So. It's 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 a touch and go, and Europe may launch their own missiles at this point. Come on, I've paid American missiles. Come on, got one minute fifty now. Ah, oh, we lost our missile. Come on, got a few more going. These ones over here aren't going to make it. These ones could. One of them could. Come on. Come on, one missile. No, game over. One point off of Europe. And we get revealed where the rest of the enemy were. A oh, player wants to add subs. Um, so we see where all the enemies were. Oh, we was going right through ambush. America still had quite a lot of its submarines, which I'm surprised. When I did all launched. Who had nukes left? I had 27. Okay, they were all being launched, but um, oh well. Player two had a few nukes. Player one, um, so Russia, Europe, and South America. South America still had loads of nukes. So I think we came out of that quite well. Um, 64 million deaths, five, 64 million kills, 136 million survivors. Actually, Russia, Europe and Russia may come out of this quite good. Um. Where's, Europe, where's Europe's population? Oh, the UK was wiped out. Um, oh, that one was almost about to hit Dublin. Yeah. No, oh, I thought Europe had been wiped out, but I must have been mistaken. Um, I mistook this as ra um, radiation. I must. I'm not sure why it's still. It must have been here. It's still brighter than usual. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not the people bar. No, oh, that's a bit of a conundrum. Um. Player 2 got the most kills, um, Player 3 took the most deaths, so, yeah, America, followed a little bit by Africa, so yeah, Europe came out of that, the winner, um, now we just quit. So, thank you for um, watching, um, hope you enjoyed um, something a little different this time, um, leave feedback in the comments below, um, leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you like these sort of videos and um, we'll try and get a war funder video out soonish um thank you for watching i'll see you next time